Well, we're back up on the mountain today. Well, this is my mini excavator. It's the MX-15R. We don't really know what that means, but it is from China and it's from a group called AGT. The only way I know it's from AGT is it says it right here, AGT Industrial. So that's pretty good. Our project for today is going to be to add a cooling fan. Right now it runs really hot and there's no airflow in the engine bay. So let's get that fixed. So here's the problem. We have this uh, gasoline powered engine the exhaust and muffler is right here in the engine bay, right above the hydraulic pump and right next to the gas tank. That sounds like a recipe for a lot of heat. So let's see what we can do about it. I picked up this 12 volt, nine inch diameter cooling fan. It's kind of like a radiator fan. It's got some electrical connections here. And I think the plan would be to mount that thing inside this vent on this side. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be easy. I think we need to go ahead and plan ahead and take the battery cover access panel off. Maybe take the seat off so we can see down from the top. We don't know, but we'll figure it out. Right here on the floorboard, we have four bolts that need to come out. Man, it is a nice and sunny day today. That's kind of good. We also have a vibration issue. So we have our vibration stopper, 6.3 right here. It's actually just a nice oak stick. Got to hold on to that. Get these bolts out on this side. So I woke up this morning and it was 43 degrees outside. Let's put these somewhere where we'll absolutely lose them. And over here on the other side, we have a couple bolts or screws. Same issue. Again, we'll put them where, where we're going to lose them. All right, with any luck, this will come out of here. So we don't really have a plan, but we'll work on it as we go. The seat here in the back are held on with a couple wing nuts. That looks secure. And you have to use these wing nuts to uh, add gas to the gas tank. Seems like a bad situation, but it is what it is. And that allows us to just flip the seat forward. And we'll put these wing nuts over here where we will definitely lose those. So down inside here, you can see this is the gas cap to fill it. There's the exhaust muffler and the hydraulic pump is way down there. This is the exhaust situation. That's the closest exit for the exhaust. So we could just put a fan there that blows it out and it would pull cooling air from this side over the gas tank, over the carburetor, and maybe just get that heat to go out as quick as possible. So I think we're gonna mount our fan over here. All right, our first fitting problem that I see inside here, they have little studs welded on to this frame. And I don't even know if I can get you in here but they have little studs welded on the inside to hold this cooling screen on. But they're right in the middle of where we need the fan to be. So we're gonna to have to knock that one right there in the middle off somehow. And I think the easiest way to do that is just gonna be take the whole side of the tractor off. Luckily, it looks like we have four 10 millimeter bolts on the side and this whole panel can come off. All right, we have all the bolts off and this side panel just pulls away. That makes it a lot easier. Now we can sit up here on the mini truck and work on this a little bit easier. So we're gonna show you what the problem is. 
obviously this fan is going to be turning and there's this bolt right here is going to be a problem. So we're going to take a grinder and knock that thing off or at least shorten it down. I think it's the right thing. All right, so we shortened down this bolt here in the middle. We also shortened down this one up here on the top. That might give us some adjustment when we're putting this new one back in. I don't know. So we have the fan over the top of that bolt that we just cut off, and it's still kind of close. I don't know if we should just cut the whole bolt out of there or grind it down just a little bit more, maybe. It's actually kind of a trick to get all four of the bolt holes lined up with metal underneath them. Uh, this is pretty much the only setup that I see that will work, but let's go make sure that this is going to fit inside. So where these bottom holes are, looks like we're about four fingers up from that bottom. Here's where those bottom bolts go. Four fingers up is going to put us right above the hydraulic pump. Looks pretty good. As long as we're inside this back screw, we should be fine. This is the back screw we were talking about and we are not inside that back screw. So let's get a measurement. Looks like we're gonna be sticking in about an inch and a quarter. So this standoff here is, luckily it's right at inch and a quarter, so we should be okay. The fan is gonna end up right in this area somewhere. I sure hope it works. Looks pretty good. Perfect. This would have been a lot of work to get everything lined up properly with the uh, cowling still on the tractor. So I'm glad we took it off. This will work out good. All right, we have the fan mounted here on the uh, side. The bolts look pretty good. I don't know if they're gonna look stock or not, but I don't really care as long as it cools well. The fan looks like it's well centered over the ventilator area it's a little higher than it should be or lower i guess because this panel is upside down i'm doing the best i can all right let's use this little stick make sure our fan is not touching any of the bolts looks like it's doing fine so we will say that's good enough so the fan comes with these little electric connectors they're round push type connectors i don't have any of those so we're going to swap them out what I do have are these little spade style connectors. So we just cut the round ones off, put the spades on. And usually you would stagger these, put the spade on one wire and the blade on the other. But I'm not sure which way the fan turns. So I'm just gonna do them both the same way. So we can swap it if we want to. All right, so we have our ground terminal on here with a ring connector. We're gonna pull the wire back through this protective boot. And we'll call that good enough. If I can get the boot on with one hand. Sure, good enough. And we're gonna tie wrap this right here just so a little bit of strain relief. Over on this side, we've just disconnected the positive off the battery for a second. And up under here, we've connected the positive wire to the, uh, the battery disconnect. And we have our negative wire up from the battery. This is the battery disconnect right here. And we put blade connectors on both wires on this end. This is where the fan's gonna go. I also have a couple pieces of heat shrink we're gonna put over this connection once we're happy the way it works. And we went ahead and tie wrapped our negative wire in a couple places and neatened up some of the wiring in here. It's still a mess, but it's okay. Now we can reach secure the side panel. 
Make sure our fan has plenty of clearance on the inside. The tractor, we are a little bit tight on this frame right here. It's actually touching, but I don't think it's affecting the fan. The fan still turns nice and smooth. So we'll just say that that's a vibration preventer. And we can temporarily hook up our wires and then we'll hook the battery back up and see if this thing works. All right, our battery's reconnected. Nice and tight. Negative is on nice and tight. With any luck, we can turn on the uh, battery disconnect and we'll have air blowing out of the cowling. Out's good. Now luckily, here's where the air is coming out. We'll just turn this thing. Oh yeah, it's blowing. And that just about does it. I think we have to do a functional test, but we're just about done. We also need to put our heat shrink over these connections real quick. All right, so that looks pretty good. It's not quite as tight as it needs to be on the top, but I'm sure it's good enough. We might put another tie wrap there at the top just to keep everything from janking around a little bit. Perfect. All right, the last thing we need to do is put it all back together. We've got to find all these bolts we, we know we're going to lose. One wing nut goes in here. Oh yeah, that feels secure. Another wing nut over here. I just, remit, I just realized there's a sticker here that says refueling zone. Notice, filling gasoline. You can e use E10, but don't use E15 or E85. Everybody knows ethanol is bad for carbureted engines. Don't do that. We have our floorboard back in place. Got to put the screws in here. We're not going to tighten those up till we get the two in on the other side. Sometimes it takes a little persuading, so no reason to work at it twice. Looks like we got pretty lucky there. Oh yeah, that's perfectly tight. That's almost tight. Ugh. Usually when your elbow pops, it's about right. Back to the other side, let's give this a little, little tighten up. Ugh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Now the edge of this floorboard is raised a little bit, um, which means if you're on this wrench and it slips off, it's gonna take all the skin off the back of your knuckles right across there. Thanks, China. I almost forgot my fancy floor mat laying out here in the weeds. Ugh. Yeah, this is almost worn out. We're gonna have to get us a new one of those. Hold on, what's the malfunction over here? User error. All right, let's give it a test run. First step is to turn on the battery disconnect. We should hear the fan going. Perfect. Pull the choke on a little bit and turn the key. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It had me worried there for a second. So you probably can't see this, but it's, it's charging at 13.9 volts, which is pretty high. We're just going to let it sit here and heat up for a second. So we have our fancy infrared laser thermometer. We're going to give this a shot real quick. So it's 62 out here in the sunshine. So the exhaust coming out is 170. Again, the air over here is 79. coming out the side is definitely warm so we're going to give it a few more minutes to heat up and see how it does the fan isn't very loud which is a good thing well i'm going to do a little 
little bit of digging to see if we can get this thing to get hot. I'll be back in a minute. All right, we did a little bit of digging. Drove around a little bit. It should be plenty warm now. So the air coming out on this side is about 95 degrees. Up here under the seat, 72 degrees, 68. The cold side, let's go back to the hot side. Another good feature when you turn the motor off, the fan's running, so it's going to remind you to turn the battery disconnect off. No more running your battery dead. That's a win. Well, that's going to do it for today. You guys get outside, do something fun, come back and tell me about it.